No idea. My next guest, very excited to have him. He's one of professional wrestling's top managers. He's the composer of the popular song, Pencil Necked Geek. He's also America's leading archivist of incredibly strange films. When he isn't busy appearing in them, please welcome Johnny Legend. Johnny Legend. Hey, Johnny, good to see you. Please have a seat. Better great than never, right? It is a pleasure to see you, sir. Yes, sir. You're looking well. Thank you, thank you. If I can smell it, I can sell it, and I'm here again, so. Good, good, good. All right, so welcome to the Big Apple. How's it going here tonight? Uh, it's going pretty well, actually. Okay. We had uh, some lovely guests on so far, and now we're very pleased to have you. What are you doing in the Big Apple? Well, I've got this great movie, probably the greatest film ever made, finally playing New York, Spider Baby, which I've been chasing for. Spider Baby. We've got some Spider Baby fans here. Spider Baby. I'm doing all the usual things, you know, managing wrestlers, writing, acting, you name it. Uh, you know, I'll just, whatever comes along, I'm You're still a trying to find man. my You're getting it all done. Yeah. I think that's great. Now, this whole Spider Baby phenomenon, tell me how you found Spider Baby. Okay, well, what happened is I was in a theater about 25 years ago, downtown LA. I was walking around, all of a sudden I saw the sign said Triple World Premiere Horror Bill. And I went, well, okay, that sounds good to me. Absolutely. Walked up, paid the $3 or whatever it is. I got in the lobby, and the manager actually came up and tried to talk me out of going in. He said, You look like a pretty intelligent guy. He said, I want really? to Really? He said that to you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was younger then. What was he dressed like? That's well, what I want to know. He looked like he'd been working the Burley House on Main Street, but you know, right. he, but he came to this theater and he thought it was his idea to get people out of the theater. I never understood it. Right. So he tried to talk me into taking a refund and leaving. So I said, well, I think I'll just take one little chance this time. He said, these movies are old, they're black and white, it's a, it's a rip-off. I said, no, no. So I went in and I see one of the greatest films ever made, Spider Baby, Lon Chaney Jr.'s last great movie, the whole thing. About a month or two after this, the movie totally vanished from the face of the earth, disappeared. No sign, no prints left anywhere. So for 25 years, I've been kind of looking for it. There have been bad copies floating around, bootlegs and everything. And you finally found it again. Finally found it. We finally, have a clip from Spider Baby. We have a clip from Spider show. Baby. Absolutely. Right. This is Johnny Legend's baby, Spider Baby. Here it is. Take All a right. quick look. Hold it. See how long I do like a little teeny How much did we let run out? Mm -hmm. Just enough to make her quiet. She's been around complete with her better. <laughs> now that's amazing. <laughs> that that doesn't let that you know what? That just looks like a melee to me. That just looks like a melee. Just it's kind of a melee. You know what's strange is this film's only been out doing some test engagements the last 90 days, and it's already getting better reviews than Schindler's List, so I'm getting nervous. I mean... So you hold this up as an excellent piece of film. You would hold it up to any, any film Absolute, that's out there today. I put this up against anything, you know, past, Gump. present, or future. Forrest Gump, yeah. Well, Forrest Gump is another kind of family values thing that's just kind of a rip off of Spider Baby, so you know. <laughs> you know, these things happen, you gotta learn well, to live take, with it. Now, how is Forrest Gump in any way a rip off of what we just saw? Well, this thing's about a kind of family with a degenerative disease that progresses as they go through life, and it, brings, and it definitely emphasizes family values. It's more like Adam's family values, but it's... Right. Uh, isn't there cannibalism in this movie? There's some cannibalism, but it's, oh, okay. ha it's handled tastefully. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the way to get it. Now, I was, I was asking people earlier, uh, yeah. who were some of their favorite directors? You're obviously a guy who's... And you had trouble with Leone, so that made me a little worried. But, I was a little worried. Uh, I, I, I believe in the masters, you know, like Ed Wood and so forth. And the right. man who made this picture is one of the greatest directors of all time. Did you ever meet Ed Wood? I did meet Ed Wood, yeah. I'm one of the few people I know who actually met him. I was about 13 years old. I met him at Forrest J. Ackerman, the editor of Famous Monsters House. Right. I seemed to be the only one there who was interested. I finally was meeting Ed Wood, and no one, everyone else there was just walking by him like, who the hell is this guy? At 13 you met him? Yeah. I was 13, I met Ed Wood, and he actually accused me of being the first Ed Wood fan, which I thought was flattering <laughs> at the time. And it took another, once again, what, 30 some odd years for the rest of the world to catch up. But you know, I can't help it. You I'm are a man ahead early. of your time, and I want to touch your beard so bad right now, I can taste well, it. That's all, all right. I can say. All right. Who, who's the other guy you were going to tell me about? The, the man who directed Spider Baby and Switchblade Sisters and discovered Pam Greer, the Jack Hill, this really great director. Jack Hill is... Uh, you're probably drawing a blank again, which yeah. is like doing a self-portrait. I've done that myself, but I mean, this is the kind of guy you walk up, <laughs> you can walk up to anybody on the street and they go, oh, Jack Hill, Jack Hill. I mean, it's, it's a household word. Jack I mean, Hill? I mean, you, you can ask, pick somebody randomly. Yeah. Quentin, how about Quentin Tarantino, for Is example? Quentin here's Jack Hill? I here's a man on the you street. Who Jack Hill was. All right, I'm sorry. In my segments. All right. You asked me who directors do I like, and I said Jack Hill, and you're asking him who's Jack Hill? Well, that was a long time ago. Yeah. It was. Three segments ago. Yeah, this, <laughs> this rock video attention span thing is getting out of hand. I heard, I heard music You're and I blind. You're not on TV anymore, dude. Yeah. All right, <laughs> I'll, I'll rent. No, Jack Hill is the greatest, man. You know, Pam Greer was like his, like, you know, it was Dietrich to his von Sternberg. Why are we all standing? <laughs> well, <laughs> it just seemed like the right thing to do at the Let's time. all Jack sit. Hill. Jack, Jack Hill. Jack Hill. Jack Hill. All right. You're going to sit down or you're going to go? Sit down. Sit down. 
Sit down. Jack Hill is sitting out there tonight. Hi, Jack, with his lovely little wife, Alka, going, oh, my God, it's come to this. Hi, Jack. Jack. Hi, I, Jack. I know you now. Now, also, I, I just have to say one thing, especially if Jack Hill is watching. I mean, you know, Jack Hill is, is a really terrific director. I mean, he really is great. I mean, you know, his scripts... I get that. That's why you're ganging up on him. Yeah, his, 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 his scripts are really funny, and he's a really talented man. I mean, I'm a big, big fan of his work. I think uh, uh, me and Johnny were talking about putting together a, a Jack Hill retrospective, because, like, Johnny's got all of the prints of his movies. He's, he's also got, House, he's got the, the movies, and you're also the wrestling thing now. You're the, you're the big wrestling promoter, and you... Is Spider Baby? What's just around Spider Baby as your protege? Well, I'm coming to that. I, I've handled a lot of wrestlers. I've handled Sister Slash, the nun from Hill. Right. <laughs> I've, I've I had to. Like, doing this. I've handled Dr. Jerry Graham, who's 75 years old, a total wreck, and still uh, wrestling, which is take phenomenal. Out the and I've got a brand new protege. <laughs> whose name in Spanish is Aranya Nina, which by pure total coincidence, and you'll back me on this, her name in English translates into Spider Baby, well, which is astounding. The Spider Baby, that's protege. an amazing thing. Well, well, where is she? She's she's around here tonight. She's coming soon to an arena. Where, where is she? Let's see her. Well, well, we're all standing again. Okay. Wow. Spider-Baby. Okay. She's here not only to represent the women right. of the world, but also the film Spider-Baby and okay. everything else. And you know, years ago, I was working with Andy Kaufman on Breakfast with Blast. I know you are. And he was the intergender champion of the world. Okay. She is going to go beyond that and become... I'd like to thank my... Oh, all right. ...the inter-everything champion of the world. She's going to take on any man, I agree. woman, vegetable, mineral, you name it. We'll I'd like to thank it. my guests tonight, Johnny Legend and Spider-Baby. The film Spider-Baby is available on videotape from Johnny Legend Video. Quentin Tarantino was here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Cynthia Ginn, Sun City Palms. Here are the mighty, mighty Boss Tones. You're going to play us out with We Should Talk. <laughs>